Yes, hello YouTube. Uh, this is that uh, Satechi uh, 4 outlet uh, cigarette lighter plug adapter that I got the other day. And I kind of wanted to take a look at what's inside of one of these. There's four screws on the bottom. You kind of, you can get to those two. There's one here and one there. I thought that might be a screw in the middle, but it wasn't. And then you got a there's some clips holding everything together, and then it pretty much comes apart. But I've heard some of the reviews say that their unit burned up on them, and those are pretty small wires. You know, I wouldn't want to run much current through these. I might beef those wires up a little bit. Just get uh, that. That's probably like 22 gauge or something, so the, yeah, I might add a little, because that's your ground wire, and then the power wires come in there. I guess that's on that terminal. So they, these are the switches, so they have a switch per outlet. And the other reason I wanted to tear this apart was blue LED that's on when the outlet is off and a red LED that's on when the outlet is on and it looks like the USB power is always on but that's actually okay because I I have a load that I uh, power it's uh, the little controller meter for my home energy monitoring system and it has a little 5 volt USB power plug and if I can power that off of uh, solar, that would be a good thing. I don't have to have a wall wart. So I'm going to take a look at this. I'll probably beef up these wires a little bit. It looks like there is a wire, a heavier wire down here. So I guess that, that comes in off of the 12-volt uh, power plug. So this wire must feed the uh, USB. And the other reason I took it apart is I wanted to try to uh, see if I can drill some holes into the uh, mounting bracket because they, they give you some double-sided tape. Or maybe I'll just make a plate and stick it to the plate and then, because I can't really get much, there's not much access to the plate and I don't see how it uh, is attached. So. Maybe I'll stick this plate to a piece of metal that's a little bit bigger and then I can run some uh, screws in, like some wood screws in through the metal plate. Because I want this to be kind of permanently mounted. I'll probably have it uh, uh, vertical with the switches up, have all my cords coming out the bottom, and then I can just switch one or the other one, two, three, or four on, and each one of those will be, I can just leave the uh, cords plugged in. Okay, I got a, uh, a little 12-volt uh, supply, plug this in, and yeah, unfortunately it's the bottom LEDs. You can see that's off. You've got the blue LED down there at the bottom, and then when you turn the switch on, the blue goes off and the red comes on, if you can see that. Maybe I'll turn off my light here. So you can see the uh, red and the blue switch in there. Looks like the blue picks up pretty good on the camera. I don't know how well the uh, red does, but so what I need to do is, uh, I guess, desolder those blue LEDs. You can see every one. They probably don't use all that much current, but since I want to leave this plugged in essentially around the clock, there's no sense burning up, you know, milliamps of current. Because that's pretty much like your vampire load on your AC power. You know, if you have some LED that's on all the time, that's just using using power and there's really no need for it. I might, uh, I guess this one on the 
uh, USB port is on all the time, but I could look at uh, if it's possible to disable that one. But yeah, I guess I need to pull the circuit board out and uh, get to the bottom row of LEDs, see if I can uh, get those shut off. So that's that's the plan. I will see if I can get that apart and look at that. That's going to be hard to get down there. But anyway, just wanted to uh, show you the inside of one of those. I just mainly wanted some place to plug in multiple devices and have switches to turn them on and off. Because right now I'm, I'm constantly, you know, pulling a plug out, putting another plug in and be nice just to leave everything plugged in all the time and then just turn it on and off uh, with a switch so once I get uh, some time to look at this I'll try to uh, get back to you and show you what I came up with so in the meantime stay tuned to the channel for some other videos and you can uh, rate and share this video if you liked it and be sure to uh, subscribe to the channel for updates Thanks for watching.